The Foothill Gold Line Light Rail Project is a 12.3 mile six station extension of the Metro Gold Line Light Rail System. It is part of the expanding network of rail lines being built in Los Angeles County and is funded by Los Angeles County Metro's Measure M half cent sales tax, approved by voters last November, as well as Measure R. The portion of the project from Claremont to Montclair is being funded by San Bernardino County. The project is overseen by the Foothill Gold Line Construction Authority, an independent transportation agency responsible for the planning, design, and construction of the three-segment Foothill Gold Line. Planning for the Glendora to Montclair segment began in 2003, and to date has completed environmental review and advanced the engineering to a point that it is now ready for a design-build contract. It will officially break ground in October 2017 and take about nine years to complete. The Foothill Gold Line will add new Metro Gold Line stations in the cities of Glendora, San Dimas, Laverne, Pomona, Claremont, and Montclair. Importantly, the new extension is being built within a shared rail corridor that already has tracks serving freight and from Laverne East is also shared with Metrolink. These services cannot share tracks because light rail trains use overhead electric lines to power the trains, while the freight and Metrolink trains are diesel-powered locomotives that don't use the overhead power system. So the first major construction phase of the Glendora to Montclair project will be to relocate the freight and Metrolink tracks. Here is an explanation of how the two systems will fit within the shared rail corridor and how the tracks will be relocated. The existing rail corridor is about 100 feet wide on average, enough room for the number of tracks needed to serve the new light rail system, as well as the existing freight and Metrolink system. But because the existing tracks are in the center of the rail corridor, they will have to be relocated to make room for the two new light rail tracks. Let's use a stretch of the corridor in Claremont as an illustration of how crews will relocate the tracks with minimal disruption to the freight and Metrolink services. As you can see from this animation, the freight and Metrolink tracks are located in the center of the corridor. They will have to be relocated to the southern portion of the corridor to allow room for the new light rail tracks. Crews will build the new southernmost track alongside the existing one for a stretch at a time. During the construction of the new track, the freight and Metrolink trains will still be active. Once each new stretch of track has been built, it will be tied in with the existing track. The old track will then be removed to allow the freight and Metrolink trains to begin using the new track, allowing room to build the second new track for the freight and Metrolink system using the same process. This process will be repeated throughout the entire corridor, sometimes where only one track needs to be relocated, other times more, until the entire freight and Metrolink system is relocated to its permanent new position. The current safety gates will continue to be used during this phase of work. During this first major construction phase, the Claremont Metrolink station will also be rebuilt, further east of its current location. To do this, a temporary track detour around the area of the future station site will be constructed. Called a shoe fly, the detour will allow construction crews space to safely build the new Metrolink station without disrupting freight and Metrolink service. Once the new Metrolink and freight tracks are in place, the shoe fly will become part of the track system for the gold line. Additionally, during this first major phase of work, all of the 30 street crossings will be rebuilt and improved. This will include installation of new underground utilities, new street pavement, curbs, gutters, and sidewalks, and new tracks will be installed across the street for freight and Metrolink trains, as well as the Gold Line. The six freight bridges that exist today will also be rebuilt during this phase. Once the freight and Metrolink system is relocated, the construction authority will move on to building the light rail system. In each city, a new gold line station with parking and amenities for biking, walking, and bus connections will be built. Each station will feature unique station art designed and fabricated by the city-selected station artist 
and all stations will have pedestrian underpasses or overpasses to get patrons from one side of the tracks to the other. Two new light rail tracks will be built along the entire 12.3 miles, one for eastbound and one for westbound Gold Line trains. Work will begin underground to improve drainage, as well as install a duct bank system for the line's communications and power cables. Then the light rail track system will get built on top, primarily consisting of layers of ballast rocks, track ties, and steel rail. The power system is built atop that, along with walls and fencing, to protect the entire corridor. In addition, all street-level crossings will be upgraded for the latest safety equipment during this phase, including quad gates that lock the entire street and sidewalk when a train is approaching. At as many as eight streets, new light rail bridges will be built to allow the Gold Line trains to travel over the street without stopping traffic and several more bridges will be built over waterways. Once the work in the second construction phase is complete, the project will begin testing before it reaches substantial completion. The Construction Authority anticipates the two major construction phases of the project will take a total of about nine years to complete, starting in late 2017, when the Glendora to Montclair extension will formally break ground. The first few years following groundbreaking will be used to relocate utilities hire the design build team, conduct pre-construction activities, and finalize thousands of pages of engineering drawings. The Construction Authority anticipates major construction to begin early 2020, with about six years of work after that to complete the entire project. Once construction is completed and the line is fully tested in early 2026, the Foothill Gold Line from Glendora to Montclair will be turned over to Metro to be readied for passenger service. Want to keep updated on the Foothill Gold Line from Glendora to Montclair or watch other videos about the project? Go to foothillgoldline.org or follow the project on Facebook and Twitter at I Will Ride.